Hi, welcome to Alice Quality Shower Drain Enclosure. Uh, today I would like to show you how to install these units. Um, so in a little bit I'm going to show you how to do a step by step. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is this support bar. Right here are the end cups that are holding the bar to the wall. Door stoppers, wheels, and these two are the bar support. So, um, alright. So, so I keep watching the video and I show you exactly what to do. Okay, uh, what I did, I just installed this uh, piece of glass in place. Um, it's a ceiling on the ceiling blocks. It's like uh, this uh, piece of rubber here. There is in there and you have one on the other corner. That is uh, pretty much following the wall. This glass is custom made so everything is following the wall even when the, the glass uh, is custom made as I say and the wall is uh, uneven. It's kind of like following the whole wall in this case because it's custom made. So now what I need to do is uh, we need to cast this piece of metal right here. This is a piece that goes across uh, from wall to wall and it's going to be screwing to the wall. So I need to measure so I can cut the, uh, that piece of metal uh, to the right size. So. So this piece of metal, uh, metal will uh, be total from wall to wall is 61 inches. So you may have a different system, a different look or different type of hardware, but the actual idea it will be the same thing. You have to attach the metal to both to both walls. So on this case is this is type of uh, end to support the metal. So basically you put this one you put it here, when it goes in, you tie this uh, screw up uh, to the metal and it is attached to the metal. But how you put it into the wall? So basically, it's a, this is a no one piece, it's actually two pieces on this case. When you turn it, it will be, you untie the screw, you turn it and it becomes open. So if you not, if you wanted to know how much to the duct, from the from the 61 inches to cut the metal, you can actually measure. See, on this case is 916. This is at the end, the part that actually gonna be screwing to the to the wall. After the screwing to the wall, you're gonna put this like this and screw into the end cup. So, so say uh, being that say the is this is 916 and 916 is one inch and one eight and I wanted to cut a little bit more so to have a room to play with the bar back and forth so I'm going to cut it on this case uh, one inch and three eighths so I'm gonna still have a lot of room as you see this is very big um, measurement here is inch and a half minus the 916 uh, I will end up with uh, 1516 to play with the bar in one of the sides but I still have another one so it's actually double of that um, all right so it's very simple this part goes to the wall with a screw through it uh, it will be exactly the same uh, type of piece on the other wall so you have 916 on each piece by two is one inch and one eighth uh, I'm gonna add a quarter inch so to play with the bar inside the tube, uh, inside the support. So I'm gonna cut 61 inches, on this case minus one inch and three eighths. So that will be um, 61, that's 60, that's 59, 5 eighths. So that is what I'm gonna cut this tube. All right, I show you once I finish cutting. Hey. Uh, well, I just cut the, this piece of metal, um, remember that I cut it uh, 1 inch and 3 eighths, uh, smaller than the size of the opening. So now is, my, is the moment to put this on. So I'm going to put this on here, I'm going to put uh, the other side, right here, and I don't want to tie it up, I'm just going to leave it loose, and i show you how to do next. Alright, I have my assistant there, he had the tube, so I'm going to show you what to do next. So you're going to put one corner right to the wall, uh, 
then you're gonna see there is a little space in here. So you don't worry about the space because that is the room, that is the space that you're gonna have to play with the glass later on. So I have my Sharpie here. So what I do is, uh, I'm gonna mark. You see it's a hole in there on the glass. It's another one right here. And the actual tube is touching this wall. That is what's important. Okay, we had the two holes already marked when uh, he put it in there. So we know the placement. Uh, this is what we know already. Now we don't know what is straight because this is a round and it's very hard. If one, um, this way. So if one hole is here on this side and then the other one is crooked on this side like this, uh, it doesn't gonna match. <laughs> so you run the installation. So it's very important to do the, those holes uh, to be lined up perfectly straight. So to do that, what I do is in this case I have a, my 3H is a level on this case. So those are the holes that I wanted to mark the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it and mark a straight line right there. Okay, see, the line doesn't match the center of the hole, but it will be straight because it was attached to the, to the level. So that is what I wanted to know. So now that what I do, by eye, I get the center of the hole. See, I do the same thing in here. And there you go. You have the exact position where to drill the holes on that tube. All right. So now we wanna we have to install these uh, little things. Uh, in this case, I have to take it apart. So you need to. This this part is a little bit tricky also because you have to kind of like the design is kind of like complicated. This part need to be inside and then you have to screw it to it. So I'm gonna show you an easier way to do it. So you take it apart. Then. So basically this piece goes inside the tube and then this one is the one need to be screwed to it. So I'm gonna get something like this, I'm gonna put it right there inside the hole. I wanna make sure the, the, the thread is facing up. So I put it right here and um, so it's there. So So I put it in position with this, I fix it so it's all the way up, and uh, then I'm gonna put the screw. It's not complicated at all once you do it a few times, but uh, if nobody is playing you and you have no much idea about it, uh, I think it's a better for you to call a professional to do uh, something like this. Now, if you are a glass installer, and if this, this is the first time you're gonna do something like this, then uh, this video is gonna be a lot of help for you. Um, other than that, um, if you don't have much experience on glass, uh, don't try to do something like this. Just call somebody that, don't, that knows how to do it. And uh, if, you are, if you are in South Florida, then you can give us a go. <laughs> All right, something very important after, after you put the force um, support on the bar, you have to put the door stopper. This is the door stopper. So basically what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna slide it inside the tube. Then you're gonna come here and um, install this one right there. Now that we have this one, you can leave it loose because we don't have to uh, tighten it now. 
But if you don't do that uh, this time, then you're going to have to take everything apart from the this little piece in here. So next step is putting this here, right there. And um, let me see. This is the Allen key. So you're going to tie it up so it doesn't move. So basically it has three Allen key around the metal. So I just tie it and now the other one, I just gonna slide it. That's it. Alright, so now he's gonna put the bar uh, on place. As you see the, we put the two support, the two holes uh, where it goes. As you see it has two holes with the screws right in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install these um, end caps that are going to be supporting the glass in place, the, uh, the bar in place. Um, so I'm going to show you in a minute. So once like that, just a little bit. Right there. So now we're trying to tie it a little bit with the hand. The same thing on this one. Okay, so now the next step is to put a level on top of the on top of the bar to make sure it's a uh, level from one way to, uh, from one side to the other. And uh, if it is not level, then means that it has to be adjusted. All right, we just uh, put the bar on the top level. Uh, it's very important to be level because it's a uh, auto level. The door can. Uh, come back because, uh, or trying to be close all the time uh, which is not good you want it to be level so where you put the door that's where it stays so now next step is measuring at the bottom you need to make sure the the glass is at the same distance otherwise the installation is going to be crooked so you measure the other side and make sure everything is right and uh, if it is okay you have to adjust it and uh, now the next step is to make sure again the glass is level that is on place so i'm going to use this level here and i show you from the different angle what to do after now is the part where we make sure that this is a uh, level so he's going to hold the glass on place to you and then he's going to put the level so basically now there is a level on place, uh, he's still holding that, um, this is loose so I'm going to push it to the wall and I have to mark around that. And uh, the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we have marked uh, the glass, uh, the metal on place, so we're going to remove it. You see that's the mark? So we're going to remove the metal so we can drill the holes and attach the end of the bar uh, attached with a screw. To Okay, so right now with this, uh, this is uh, the end of the bar. That's what I just took out. It has a base in here, the hole where the um, screw is going to go through. So I'm just going to put this right on the mark and uh, mark the center right there. So what we need to do now is uh, we need to put the anchors on the wall and uh, they, they put the screw to it. Okay, now that I drill the holes and install the, 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 the end cap attached to the wall, uh, we have to put the bar and I show you how to do it. Uh, it's very important to put the door stopper before you do the bar. and. Uh, the door needs to be inside the shower because it's a lot easier to install it afterwards if you put the bar and then you try to put the, uh, bring the door into the shower it's going to be kind of like hard um, but the whole idea is to put the door inside the shower first before you put the, the bar on the top and uh, so we're going to put the, this in here now the two ends they're going to be attached to the wall 
Uh, one goes in there. The other one goes in here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is a measure. We're gonna measure from the outside of the glass to the center of this tube. And in this case it's 1316. And we're going to measure from the glass, from the outside of the door, to the center of the wheel, which in this case is 1316. Uh, so 1316, 1316 means two inches. Now the glass is um, 3 eighths of an inch. So half of that is 316. So we are at 2 inches and 316. So we're going to mark the 2 inches 316 from the outside of the glass has to end up right center where the screw is going to be for this little guide uh, for the door. But before we mark, we need to make 100% sure that this piece of glass is still level. You have to do it every time uh, because every time that you move the glass can be out of plumb. So we need to make sure that it's still plumb. Otherwise, we have to fix it. All right. So now you're gonna mark this. We should say two, three, sixteen. So we're now gonna put it in here from the outside to the center. Is. Uh, so 316 right there. Alright. Just gonna mark this off in here. Now we have to drill the holes and that's it. Alright, we just drilled the holes in there for the for the glass, for the little guide that I have in my hands and we have to do an installation. Now, something that we need to make sure uh, is this. Let me show you. So now, this guide in here has numbers. So each of the numbers uh, represent a thickness for the glass. So if you see now, it's in number 10 because I just put it in. But I'm gonna show you something. You kick it in there, the plastic comes out. And uh, if I put it, for example, in the number 12, right there, you'll see? Now when I put it right here, it has way too much plate. So it means the door is gonna be kinda like wobbling inside the little guide. So instead what you want it to do is put it in the right size. So it's 10 millimeters represent 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, it's a very close size. So you put it in there, now when you put it, it's more tight. So that's just what you want. You don't want the guide to be too tight so it holds the, uh, the door from sliding but you want it to be tight enough so the door don't wobble, wiggle, whatever, inside the, the guide. Okay. All right, so he's putting the guide in there. Now uh, you have uh, two screws attaching uh, the guide straight to the, um, straight to the floor. Okay, so basically these, uh, these wheels uh, have an adjustment. It goes up and down. So to go up and down with the uh, with the wheels, the only thing you need to do is rotate the the, the screw in the back. So I'm gonna rotate it so you can see. You see how it goes a little bit up and down. So you need to make sure when you install it, it's all the way up. So and then you push it out with your hand also because the hole is a little bit big. So you screw it a little. Right there, and you do the same thing with the other wheel. So you make sure that goes up, right there, 
and then you screw it. That's it. Okay, once you fix the wheels, make sure that you turn it so they go all the way up. You push it with your hand, you try the screw, and then what you want it to do is using two bushings, you like trying to put it in there, and then hang the door. Voila! That's the door. As you see, on this case, it came out everything flat with the walls. So, that is uh, ready to go. So, the only thing I need to do now is install these other two wheels. So, I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to show you how to install one of them, uh, so you figure the other one is the same thing. So basically, you take one side, put it right here, okay, so now the question is, these doors, these are wheels, are supposed to move, ro uh, roll every time they use slide the door, both of them. So the way to do it is pretty much the same thing. Rotate the back of the wheel, make sure they go all the way up. When they go all the way up, um, you push it with your hand up, it's still not touching. You see it's not touching. So when it's all the way up, you tie the screw on the other side. Now it's tight, it doesn't gonna move again. It's still not touching, so to make it touch, the other thing that you need to do now is rotate the screw in the back from the wheel on the top. So when you rotate it, this wheel is gonna go down, which is gonna lift the door and make this wheel to touch the truck. So they do it so you can see. So I'm gonna untighten a little bit the screw, I'm gonna Rotate the washer with a different Allen key until I feel that it touched. No Yes. I'm gonna bring the ladder so it's gonna be easier for me. Okay, now we can see much better. two of the wheels rubbing. So a lot of the contractors, they install this door, but the only thing they do is put the wheel and they don't, rot don't rotate. And I think it's very important for the look. Uh, the whole idea of these doors are for both of them to rotate, and uh, it's very nice to see the mechanism when they're moving. So now you have the two wheels rolling. So that is the way to make these two wheels roll on the truck. And uh, hope you like the video. This is pretty much it. If you like it, give me a like. And you can subscribe for the next videos. Thank you. All right, now that we have finished, I'll show you how it works. So basically, one door slide, and uh, it stop right there. Uh, we have a door stopper right here on this corner. So you see when the wheels reach to the point, the door will stop. So right here the handle is, uh, is pretty much a hole with two washers, your finger can go through it. 
And um, you have another toaster right there. So when the wheel is touching there, it's just cold. Uh, also, to seal the spaces, we have a clear vinyl on the edge of the glass. And uh, this uh, door has a very small um, motion when it's light. And uh, this glass is supported by the two, uh, two supports right here that is attached to the glass as well. And uh, the only other piece of metal that you're going to have is uh, right there at the bottom. It's a very small guy that is holding the door in place. Now, the fixed panel that doesn't move is uh, gluing um, to the floor and uh, attached to this bar. So that is why it doesn't move, it's very strong. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you like this unit and this is uh, Luciano with Arts Quality Shower Dome Closure. Thank you.